Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Align Plants. How are you today? In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be setting up uh, my weekly layout in my Hobonichi Weeks. And we're looking at the week of April, what are we at? We're looking at the week of April 17th all the way up to 23rd of April. And if that sounds good and you want to see kind of how we're going to be setting everything up, put some music on, grab your coffee, and let's get started. You will notice that I will probably just put some music on and I will kind of pop in and out periodically, uh, giving you like a little bit of an update. Not much, I don't necessarily want to speak through the whole thing because the basic layout doesn't necessarily seem to change all that much. But if you are brand new to planning within your Hobonichi weeks, I think that this will be like a really nice way to kind of ease into how to kind of like structure your weekly layout so that you can kind of get the most out of this. And if you've never met me before, we talk a couple of times a week on this channel and we chat about anything and everything, minimalist planning, we talk about functional planning, journaling, stationery, fountain pens, all the things. But the idea behind this channel is for us to use them in the most functional way where it actually enhances our lives rather than just accumulating the thing. So if that sounds good, you would probably really enjoy hanging out here. Okay, let's get started. I have to say, I have done absolutely nothing with last week's spread. It, it's very minimal. I didn't really do too much decorating. I honestly just kind of filled it out like midway through the week. It was really a busy week. It was a lot of things that were going on. Next week seems to be pretty much following suit, but here is a previous week to that where I actually ended up misspelling one of the words. Sometimes it's just the weeks just kind of run away from me. And then at that point, I don't necessarily spend too much time really decorating anything and that's totally fine. So you need to have a life as well. Okay, let me just set everything up first. So first, first things first, I usually set up my grid. That part hasn't changed. The only thing that I'm going to change here is actually the pen that I'm using. Generally speaking, you've seen me use these thin little pens. <coughs> this one is from Hosho. This is in the color Peony. I also have like their light gray color one and that's fine, but sometimes I just don't feel like it. So today I'm actually going to use the 0.38 uh, millimeter. This one is the Uniball one. And I believe the color is um, Memophila Blue. So this is actually one of my favorite pens. And it looks really pretty when you're setting up your grids. So once we have the grid kind of figured out, I'm using that exact same pan to kind of just highlight the sidebars. And I'm going to be dividing the right hand side of the page into a few different sections. But again, the sections don't really seem to change all that much. The subcategories that I really like to set up are priorities, inbox, a tracker, and next week. Okay, let's talk about the decor for just a moment. The theme for this week, I wanted to kind of keep it sort of where we're at. I don't know why we're using a weather themed decor, but it just, I happen to have that entire sticker sheet. So we're kind of rocking with it. I do have this really beautiful butterfly and just very clean, elegant looking washi. It is from MT. I bought it from Paper Plus Cloth a while back actually. And you will see me just kind of decorating the entire spread with like this April showers theme. That's all about really welcoming the spring, welcoming the new beginnings, but then at the same time, also knowing that, you know, at different parts of the world, you might actually have snow. And I'm telling you this because it's snowing here in Canada and it's April. So welcome to April vibes, everybody. Yeah. 
so here we are i actually bought this back in maybe in november december i bought it a long time ago but it's all about april showers singing in the rain being carefree so i'm really using the music notes as as inspiration to just really give ourselves permission to just kind of sink to our own tune, sing and do the things that actually make sense to us, even if it doesn't make sense to everybody else around us. I think as time goes on, I'm just noticing more and more in how many ways I filter what I say, I filter how I am in hopes that, not so much that I'm not going to offend anybody, but in hopes that my interests will not collide with other people's interests. And I don't know if you feel this way, but if you've ever felt like you needed to kind of mute down a version of you that feels completely lit up and happy, I'm inviting you to stop filtering yourself because the world needs your entirety. It doesn't need a muted down version of it. And thank you for tuning into this week's inspirational moment. And now back into the planning. I actually use that highlighter just a little bit too prematurely. I didn't wait long enough for the actual brush pen to kind of dry, so I'm waiting a little bit longer with the inbox. So this week's priorities don't feel and they don't seem nearly as obnoxious as it did last week. Last week I spent a lot of a lot of hours just prepping our taxes, prepping paperwork. So this week I'm doing just a little bit of that in the beginning of the week and afterwards hopefully we are kind of wrapping up the preparation for for tax season. I don't know if you feel me on this. It's, to me, it's like one of the most mind-numbing activities and I always dread it and it always takes me about an easy a week for me to kind of get everything ready. Here we are moving on to just outlining the word of the week. The word of the week this week is going to be synced to your own tune because I really wanted to kind of highlight the individuality. I wanted to highlight just going after the things that actually matter to you rather than, you know, going after the things and shape shifting to other people's expectations and what they expect of you. And yes, you can hear Noah singing in the background. That's apparently our new thing right now. So here's just my quick little outline. If you're wondering where I bought the stencil from, this is a brass stencil from Midori. I highly recommend it. I use it all the time in most of my videos and it's completely worth it. So here's a little bit of me outlining and then after that we will just fill it all in.
Okay, you guys, I think this is sort of the finished look. I will show you guys a close up of everything, but thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe, do all of the things. And if you wanted to see any behind the scenes footage or early access to certain videos, make sure that you check out the Patreon account that we have. It is being revamped as we speak. So just take a look and see if it is um, something that would resonate with you. I would love to have you in the community. But again, you being here means the world to me. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.